What is going on guys, Blink here, back with a new guide. This guide I'll be showing you guys will help give you the advantage when fighting inside a house or pushing one. Now, before we get started, the V-Bucks giveaway is still going on, so make sure to visit the link in the description to enter. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as I post an Amazon gift card code in the comments every time I upload. By turning on notifications, you'll have a way better chance of getting here first and redeeming that code. Anyways guys, let's get this guide started. So, these tips I'll be showing you guys will help you give the advantage when fighting inside a house or pushing one. This first tip I'll be talking about has been mentioned in one of my previous videos but I'll mention it again as this is an in-depth house guide so once you land get some wood around the house and now the trick is to place a floor on top of the stairs now players aren't able to sneak up on you and if they do then remember that they have to break the floor you place once you hear a player below edit the three squares and take a peek remember when you edit the floor your enemy cannot see you edit all he sees is the floor you placed now most of the time they'll pull out their pickaxe because they want to make less noise or they need to conserve ammo once they pull their pickaxe out that's your cue to confirm the edit and surprise them with the drop down should be a much easier kill for you as you'll usually have the lineup first and get the first few hits off this is also useful to do if an enemy is right behind you as you saw in this clip i got shot down to 7 hp and started placing floors above me i did this to avoid taking any more damage i then went inside the house and placed another wall behind me just to give me more time and also one bullet could kill me so use those materials if you need to and then i quickly placed a floor down and confirmed my edit right as he started hitting my floor with his pickaxe the tables turned pretty quickly hit him with a 95 damage pump shot also one more tip is if you have a shotgun use it inside houses since you're super close to your opponent now the sex tip is to place a trap on the wall if you know there's someone under your stairs or even if there's someone right under your floor so maybe you did the wall trick and you saw a player crawl under the stairs then you can actually place a trap on the wall to guarantee a kill especially if you don't want to risk taking damage so open up your floor and place a trap on the wall then reset your floor you placed back to its original state you can do this by right clicking it will reset all the boxes and all you have to do is confirm the edit easy kill and a super safe one to get i didn't even back up or confirm the edit that quickly in this clip because i want to show you guys what happens to your opponent so make sure you're collecting those traps they can help you in so many situations this next tip will help avoid getting shot after breaking a wall so when breaking walls you want to move to cover after breaking it this tip is for players usually in tilted towers as the insides are all massive with more room to move when you break a wall to peek out or leave make sure to move over to the side before leaving a player might see you break the wall because if you guys don't know people can see the cracks as the wall keeps getting damaged so they can line up a sniper shot right at you so to be safe break that wall and move over another reason is why you want to move over is because all the debris from the wall gets in your way and you can't see anything until it clears up so someone might be able to get a few ar shots off or a sniper shot and you can't see them but they might be able to see you which just might be enough damage to kill you you can also place a wall right after you break it then use the edit tool to find players if you see someone you can pull out your sniper and confirm the edit since they can't see you because all they see is the wall you placed but once you confirm the edit you'll have a clear shot on the player all right so if you have to heal inside a house but there are windows everywhere you can destroy the window and place a wall but you might get shot in the process which is why i don't recommend breaking the window so the safest thing you can do is build a box around yourself and then build a staircase over top of the window that way no one has an angle to shoot you they might start shooting your stairs and that's when you keep rebuilding them as you edit your way out Alrighty, so these next tips will be for players that want to push houses so you want to push a house well the best way to do it is start from the roof basically high ground advantage once again because if you do spot your enemy you'll be able to see him before he sees you so how we do this is break the roof while making sure you don't fall down you don't want to be directly on top when breaking because if the other player is in the attic he can see the roof breaking and he'll line up his crosshair for an easy shot as you fall through once you get the roof hp low move over to the side and break the rest now you can third person peek without exposing yourself you can now force the peeking advantage to guarantee more accurate hits which results in the kill now what i mean by peeking advantage advantage is to peek from the right side so when you peek a player he should be on the right side of your crosshair this allows you to pre-shoot a shot a lot quicker because your character model is on the left side of the screen and he's holding the weapon from the right side making it easier to pre-aim when peeking out but if you pre-aim from the left side your character model will be exposed a lot more before you can even line up the shot so make sure you're always peeking your enemy by moving right all right so say your enemy wasn't on the roof you would have to break the attic floor once again don't fall through and just move over to the side now right when you break the floor place your own floor over top this allows you to search the house without exposing yourself you can fall through if the enemy isn't pre-aiming and surprise him if not then get an angle on him by opening the floor remember you do have that peaking angle because you have the high ground another way you can edit the floors is by breaking the wall from the house and you can replace it with your own if you know where your opponent is you can now edit the middle piece to make a window once you confirm take a quick shot at your opponent he won't even see it coming now if he's somewhere on the top floor then you can place floors all around the house to maneuver your way around once you spot your opponent use the peaking advantage and take him out through the window 
Once again, if there isn't a window, then break the wall you can hear him around and replace it with your own. Edit the middle for a window and your enemy's pretty much screwed. Now, the issue with placing floors around the outside of the house is that some houses won't let you place floors around them because of how they're designed. So you have to break it before being able to place a floor. This is why I recommend using the roof method because it's the most efficient way. Now, if you do go through the door, then the only way to really get an advantage is to force those right side peaks. It's not easy to do as you're limited to the angles you can peek from. But if you're peeking inside a room, then make sure your character model is on the left side of the doorway, which then gives you the peeking advantage. Another thing you can do is place walls inside the house. This isn't easy to do because some places in the house you can't place a wall down. Now, if you do manage to place a wall, remember to edit the middle box to open up a window. Make sure to have your shotgun out before editing. Once you confirm the edit, your shotgun will pull out and you can take a quick shot on your opponent. Now, the best way to give yourself an advantage without any issues would be that floor method. So, place down the floor right before you reach the stairs. Instead of dropping down below, you can peek from above. If the opponent pulls out his pickaxe, then confirm the edit and take a shot. If he starts shooting at your floor, keep rebuilding it and confirm the edit once he needs to reload. Or you can catch him out by opening it as he shoots. Well, that's it for this guide. Hope this guide can help make it a little easier when fighting inside buildings or pushing them. If you guys have enjoyed this guide, then like and a sub would be greatly appreciated as it does help me out a lot. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night and I'll see you on the next one.